Greece uses military ships to deter Russian oil tankers. The Greek military fleet has extended its series of exercises to counter the transfer of oil between Russian tankers, reports Bloomberg. The Greek Navy has announced that it will conduct exercises until May the 19th in the Gulf of Laconia. This area is where the transfer of Russian oil takes place. The source indicates that the exercises are intended to deter oil transfers. When Greece first announced the drills last week, tankers quickly evacuated the area, gathering to the south instead, Bloomberg reports. It is noted that oil transfers occur outside Greece's direct territorial waters, so Athens couldn't combat this process. However, it's unclear what changed since Greece decided to take a more assertive stance. Denmark previously conducted a similar action in the Baltic Sea region. The US, EU and Australia have imposed a cap on prices for Russian oil and petroleum products to reduce Kremlin revenues in response to the war against Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia is attempting to circumvent the sanctions using various methods. In February, it was reported that Greek companies had stopped trading in raw Russian oil following intensified U.S. sanctions targeting shipping companies. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, international sanctions have made trading Russian crude and oil products increasingly difficult, prompting traders to seek loopholes to export them, including offshore ship-to-ship -ship transfers. In recent months, waters around Greece's southern coast and the Laconian Gulf have been meeting oil transfer points, especially for tankers carrying Russian oil, onto other vessels. Vessels are positioned beyond the limit of six nautical miles from the shore to avoid cargo and vessel checks by Greek authorities. You cannot perform an inspection on a ship with a foreign flag in international waters. Unless a vessel carries a Greek flag, your hands are tied, said a source with knowledge of the matter. The European Commission is expected to propose sanctions on oil tankers in the so-called shadow fleet that transports Russian oil outside the group of seven countries, oil price cap limit, European Union sources told Reuters last month. Вон, ребята, горит седьмой прилет. Да, да, да. Это седьмой дрон сейчас прилетел. Is preparing a new drone disaster for Russia? New surprises await the Russians. Ukraine has caught up with the Russian Federation in the production of kamikaze drones similar to the Shahed 131 and Shahed 136. German Smetanin, general director of the Ukrainian defense industry joint stock company, spoke about this in an interview with Army Inform. We have already signed a number of contracts with private manufacturers. This mainly concerns licensed production. So, in particular, we are talking about the production of drones. Private enterprises cannot provide the required quantity, so we sign a licensing agreement and our enterprises are involved in production, said the leader. According to him, this has already yielded certain results. In particular, in 2024, Ukraine caught up with Russia in the production of kamikaze drones similar to the Shahed-131 and Shahed-136, as well as in the production of other attack drones. What explodes in Russia is all ours, said Alexander Kamishin, Minister of Strategic Industries. And this is a fact. Smetanin emphasized. According to him, work on cooperation with private companies is currently ongoing. In addition, a very large number of private development enterprises and scientists have been involved in the development of new types of weapons. There are developments that are more innovative and suited to tomorrow. We urgently need to increase production, so we are entering into cooperation with these manufacturers and thus ensuring the supply of necessary weapons to the armed forces of Ukraine, added the general director. Russian occupiers are very afraid of the heavy Ukrainian drone bomber, which they themselves nicknamed Baba Yaga. Unlike other drones, Baba Yaga is absolutely insensitive to electronic interference. Large drones are too easy targets even for small arms during the day. That is why the only opportunity to attract heavy drone bombers is at night when they are not visible to the naked eye. It has a loud engine sound, the roar of the propellers is similar to the screech of a chainsaw and makes a depressing impression on the occupiers.